What is going on today, viewers? Welcome to Project Jake Plays. My name is Jake, of course, and you're watching episode 50 of Project Minecraft. The Big 50. I'm really excited, but before we dive in, I just want to say, please don't forget to subscribe for PC gaming videos every single day. But anyways, let's just do this. I'm pretty excited. Today is not going to be a long episode. And even when I say that, it ends up being like a 25-30 minute episode. But genuinely, it's not going to be too long of an episode. I'm just going to be doing a mansion tour like promised. What the heck? First I'm killing this dude. Look at my grass. God. Anyways, um, we're going to do a mansion tour. and Because it's finally done. The past like 30 episodes of the series we're going to be building this mansion. So I'm so excited to say I'm done. Is it 100% done? No. Is anything in Minecraft really 100% done? My answer is, to be honest with you, no. It is all actually, though, fairly done. It is as done as I can get it right now, and it, I am comfortable with it. I'm not, like, cutting corners, in my opinion. I am genuinely happy with how it is right now. I want to show you what it is and what I plan to do with what's going on um, pretty soon, I guess. So, obviously, you know, I is... I'm usually really anal about my Minecraft houses. I've said it a billion times for you guys, but in case you're new here, this house is not symmetrical. This doorway is, and this platform is. But other than that, this goes way out, and so I made a tower to sort of balance that. Um, the roof, I want them to be sort of flat, but yet also slightly conical. Also, they're not symmetrical roofs. Well, that one is. The tower is symmetrical, but... Um, so yeah, we're gonna hop right in here. I just, well, I'm gonna hop, that's to wipe my, my mask out from my channel, if you didn't know that also. Um, for this doorway here, it would be getting dark now. But, um, wherever I have archways, like right there, I sort of went with, like, logs, pillars, you know? With logs laying across the top to make it look like an intelligent design of building, I guess. Um, and then I have my foyer, which is pretty much just a long walkway of, uh, glass panes here. And I've got these birch steps leading up. And it's really open design, obviously. I didn't look at this up anywhere. I made it completely from scratch. And so this is the main platform here. It serves as no room other than like a foyer area. Um, and in here, this is what I was talking about, unfinished. This room is nothing. It's just torches, so nothing spawns. A little intricately designed here, like with the stairs. Not a huge deal. But it's not anything right now. So we're just going to close these doors. So the house is now 100% done. But it's done enough for me. This house is, I keep saying done. It's not completed, finished, absolutely done, no work. But for all intents and purposes right now, it's done to me. So we're going to head up right here. One of my main staircases. And this is my bedroom loft. Or master bed area. I don't know. This is my bed where I sleep. I'm going to sleep now. But these other beds are just designed for if I ever have friends on this server. Or I keep calling it a server. But on this world... Um, you know, even while I'm still doing the series, who knows? Um, it's a neat little place to sit. I've never made any room like this before. I've had guest bedrooms and stuff like that. But I've never made anything like this. So, this is interesting to me. I'm happy with it. Again, not symmetrical. But nearly, nearly close, you know. Um, a couple of window panes. Different shapes and sizes, you know. Got a little skinny one up there, but I'll go over there in a second. Um, alright, just wanted to mention... You know, also something that's not completely done. When I get enough leather and uh, paper for bookshelves, I'm going to be making an enchanting room, which I'll show you. But here, there's also going to be pillars of books for decoration. And then this is my apple chest, but I also temporarily have my diamond stored in there. Actually, I'll just take them out right now. Um, just because I like apples. There's, ever since I started playing Minecraft, they seem sort of like rare to me. Well, they were rare when I started playing, but... Anyway, they're just like cool things that I sort of collect and never actually use in the game. So I just keep them in my bedroom usually. Nothing changes for my channel. This is my attic area. It has no particular plans. Um, like literally no plans at all. There's, You'll see in a little bit that I have no need to store anything up here. Um, the torches are placed. At least something that doesn't look like they're just thrown up here. I mean, they're spaced pretty evenly. Um, it's pretty nice, I guess, for whatever it can be purposed for. I uh, enjoy my birch trim, and I also put birch trim around, the, around this main wood pillar in my house. Um, I'm really proud of this design. So yeah, there's more wood windows. This one's almost ground level. It's just how my house is. I mean, the bottom of the window with the ground outside is what I meant. But there's you can see part of my castle and even I mean my tower and even into it there. So over here we have sort of a balcony over my house. Um, this landing 
design is something I sort of made up with not even first try if you watch the first videos of me building it but like there's a landing with this staircase I did not take up right away um, I really like this I just sort of winged it like almost completely but here's a nice little area I can look up or out the other side of my house here and they'll go over here this is the other part of the balcony right over the long entryway of my house here it is from this angle I like it a lot I'm really proud of it so we're gonna go over here and if you look here my tower actually has five levels each level is four blocks high but these are there's one two three levels here but if you enter from the bottom these bottom two levels actually go underground in fact this one the ground level is about right there I believe well different here but on this side it's about right there um, so this one actually goes underground and I have no designated plans for these two yet um, these two levels they were add-ons basically an afterthought cool design like hey I can do two layers of the tower accessible from a different part of the house but still line up perfectly you know it just sort of worked out that way these two have no plans again technically that's not finished but it's finished enough for me you know right now like for everything I need it for this house is done if you try to make a purpose for every single thing right off the bat odds are it's not gonna work out well but if you create things as any purposes I found it works a lot better so that's kinda what I'm doing with these rooms in fact there was a point where I wanted to knock out this wall completely after building it but I think I'll leave it anyways there's that pillar and before I show you the top of the no I might as well show you the top of the tower now I just showed you the bottom part um so this is sort of my crafting room obviously right now it's just crafting towers I mean crafting tables um but there you can see the front of my property there's more towards the back and I'll go around the house but right now my plans are kinda just place an anvil there and place an anvil there when I get more iron um cause the past like you know a lot of episodes were dedicated to building and not gathering resources so I'm kinda lacking right now so uh... we'll, we'll get more and then I'm thinking in these little places we could put armor stands you know maybe just all full sets of leather armor um, we could put a few more items in here for like a crafting room idea but then up here I have sort of a smelting room. Normally I prefer a design where it's like underground and the furnaces are completely covering all the walls. But I'm pretty happy with this design. You know, not all of them are filled with coal. I'll take these right now actually. But I'm thinking maybe in these spots I can do like all iron armors for, you know, for decoration. And then up here is going to be my crafting, I mean my enchanting room. I'm just going to make basically a block here of uh, bookcases. So then there's going to be the enchanting table there so that's where that's gonna go again that's obviously not done but it's really set in stone that that's what that room's gonna be well I guess I lied I did have an idea for this bottom one here the very bottom one not quite sure but this room right here is gonna be sort of a kitchen air quotes I'm gonna have like a furnace with like a cake on it you know just little cute decorations um, I must well I'll have probably my brewing equipment in here when we get to that point also so yep yeah, um, it needs some work as far as decorations and furnishings go um, the windows are non-symmetrical of course just because I tried really hard to get my gears to stop grinding and just do a house that was nice intricate dynamic I mean this is pretty neat in my opinion um, but also you know was not symmetrical because that's something I usually require myself to do is have a symmetrical house but I'm really proud of these balconies that I completely winged um, I'm just really proud of this design I'm glad you guys were able to bear with me while I was doing it, and this video is not going to be long at all. Obviously, if you watch my channel, you can tell my demeanor is a bit different because I'm speaking in a more broad sense in case people find this video. But what I am going to do is tell my new viewers and my subscribers watching right now that next episode is going to be sort of a new chapter for this um, series. I'm not going to title it as such or anything, but you might have already noticed the title of this video. I put um, the episode number and the name of the project at the end of the title something I don't usually do but I figured for to get in viewers that's just what people do I might as well do it so you know conforming we did that and um, that's I guess the only real significant change you're gonna notice from titling or anything like that but um, right off the next episode I can tell you it's gonna be back to the way it was when I first started this series I guess you know better because I have a place I have a set place that is done and I can return to but whenever I do a project it's not going to be like this house it's not going to be like 30 episodes and I'm still just trying to get through it 
You know what I mean? Like, my mining house there is garbage. It's temporary. It's just so mobs... What the heck? It's just so mobs don't fall in my mining shaft area. So, we can work on that. But, you know, we're, we're going we're gonna to have lots of plans. If we get bored of something, we can quit and come back home and do it. Do another project. Do that project later. But the whole thing was, I just can't do another project until I finish this house. And I finished it. And I'm so proud of this mansion. I'm going to go around and show the exterior real quick. Um, nothing too fancy, you know. I'm, I'm still debating on what I should do with the outside. But that's not something that's a priority for me right now. Next episode, I'm going to be doing a little bit of exploring above and underground. Just as a refreshing change from just pure building that's been constantly going on. Um, it's not going to be a super long episode, you know. If you didn't watch last episode, that's fine, I get it. I discussed some important topics like games I'll be playing in the future. How long it's going to be till my graphics card update, till I get my extra monitors, until I get my face cam. All pretty soon, by the way, but, you know, just things to keep in mind when you uh, watch that video. If you watch the whole thing, I understand if you don't want to. So I think this looks really neat. It's just like a bedroom loft area. That's so cool to me. I've never done something like it. So over here, the house seems pretty short, obviously, but really it's not. You could see the interior. Um... But yeah, this house design was completely scratched, I mean, completely from scratch by me. So, yeah, I'm just so proud of it. I can't stress it enough. I'm not the best Minecraft builder. Admittedly, I've built some pretty epic things when I put my mind to it, but... You know, something like this. I've made bigger projects, but I've done more pro planning, and I've taken inspiration from elsewhere for projects like that. This is completely just me on my own. Like, I am so proud of this. Here, this will be my screenshot. Why not? For my thumbnail. I'm so proud of this. Um, uh, I can't think of anything else to say. I guess that's really it. It feels weird ending an episode at, what is it, 12 minutes? But uh, all I can say is, guys, if you're still watching, thank you so much. I, again, apologize that last episode was so long, but um, if you didn't know, like I mentioned, I spent like 30 episodes just trying to plow through this project. And I'm low on resources because of it. The series got boring because of it. But next episode is going to be fresh. And it's going to be new. And it's going to be exciting. And we're going to play Minecraft. Like everyone loves to play Minecraft. Building is fun. But exploring and just wandering is what makes Minecraft so beautiful sometimes. That is so ugly. That's the project. That'll take like half an episode. But we got to do that sometime. So yeah. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. When this video was made, there's still a Steam game giveaway that I'm hosting that is still live. Check out probably the end card that I have or the description. They're going to be there. Um, for the sake of future proofing, it might not be live just because a house tour is a popular video that people might come back to in my series. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for bearing with me on this long project. I uh, really enjoy and appreciate your support through this, guys. I hope you enjoyed my gameplay, even though I didn't do much gaming today for this video. But uh, hopefully my rambling wasn't too bad either. I hope your day was a little bit better after uh, watching this here. So, yeah, just be sure to subscribe, viewers. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the support. I can't say it enough. Come back tomorrow for the next PC gaming video, guys. Thank you so much, and it's been real. <laughs>